and welcome to our special on the 2023 Shaw Prize. Eva Nogales and Patrick Kramer share the Shaw Prize in Life Science and Medicine for pioneering structural biology. Yao Xing Tung and Vladimir Drinfeld share the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences for their contributions related to mathematical physics. Reporter Zella Chin spoke to each of them about their work. On a bright summer day, mathematician Yao Xing Tong brings a group of students to tour his alma mater, Puiqing Middle School in Hong Kong. This is the yearbook of my high school, and uh, there's a photo of my class. The class is about 45 people, I think, when I'm standing here. Many of my classmates are uh, very active and in some sense, aggressive for the future of our career in those days. He credits the teachers in the middle school for sparking his interest in mathematics. Yao was born in Shantou, China in 1949, and he was raised in Hong Kong. Yao was the fifth child of eight children. His father taught at several colleges to make ends meet. Well, the whole family is not in good shape. But we survive and we have um, fun still. I mean, not all the way is poor. I guess in those days in the village, we can go to school with a small amount of money, tuition. But food is rather not really not enough. He lived in a village in Shantin. When he was about 10 years old, his teacher assigned him to be the leader of a study group to prepare for upcoming exams. And I have no idea what that means to be leader and to try to learn how to do exam. So I become the leader of this small group. Uh, sometimes even fighting, fist fight with people <laughs> and, and uh, stealing things. But Yao had to grow up quickly when at age 14, his father became sick and passed away. He became a math tutor to help earn money for the family. After middle school, Yao majored in math at Chinese University. And then he went to the U.S. for graduate study at the University of California, Berkeley. <laughs> Chen Xingshen, the first Shaw math laureate and a professor at UC Berkeley, became Yao's PhD advisor. Very stimulating to know that a Chinese mathematician, Chen, could be a very prominent figure in, in the mathematics community. That was an encouragement for me. Yao is known for his works in differential geometry and Kähler geometry. Yao is probably most well known for solving the Kalabi conjecture, which is a problem in differential geometry. It all began with Yao's interest in Einstein's equation for general relativity. The left hand side describes the curvature of space time. And the right-hand side describes matter that appears in the universe. So I said, can we find a closed universe? A closed universe where it is non-flat and no matter, a vacuum. It turned out that the mathematician Eugenio Calabi posed a similar question. The Kalabi conjecture studied spaces with some internal symmetry. It took Yao six years to solve this formula. This is uh, the equation to solve the Kalabi conjecture. This becomes a very powerful equation in geometry nowadays. After I solved it in the last 40 years, it has been very influential. This led to the concept of multidimensional Kalabi Yao manifolds, which are the cornerstones of string theory and complex geometry. His work on the Calabi conjecture um, was a breakthrough that opened up a whole new direction in differential geometry and geometric analysis. Yao is a prolific poet and composed a poem to commemorate solving the Calabi conjecture in 1976. His career spanned over 50 years in the United States including chair of Harvard University's Department of Mathematics, 
Then in 2022, Yao joined Tsinghua University in Beijing full-time. And he's founded several research institutes in mainland China, Taipei and Hong Kong. The Chinese mathematics at this moment is lacking quite a bit behind America, which is the best in the world. But on the other hand, with our billion students, and they are working hard, uh, you could, we could uh, capture the lost part of uh, in the last uh, many years in a short period of time. This is a brand new conference organized by Yale's Beijing Institute of Mathematical Sciences and Applications. He advises aspiring mathematicians to aim high. He really uh, encourage our students and researchers to look at big problems, like don't, because small problems cost also quite an amount of energy and you don't get a lot of fun or a feeling of achievement from that. Colleagues are surprised at how down-to-earth Yao is. Warm, friendly, uh, very impressive. <laughs> also extremely impressed and by his poetry and uh, in generally how, uh, how nice he is to, to everyone. The Shaw Prize is extra special to Yao because it was created by Hong Kong's late philanthropist and media mogul, Run Run Shaw, and his wife, Mona. I come from Hong Kong and I watched his movie when I was young and so, of course, uh, I feel differently. And uh, especially I too have met Run Run Shaw, Run Run Shaw many times, and including his wife, so I feel differently from other prizes I got. We're here in Chicago to meet with Vladimir Drenfield, the co-winner of the Mathematical Sciences Award. He's receiving the Shaw Prize for his prolific contributions to mathematical physics and arithmetic geometry, including his invention of the Stutkas. Ukrainian Vladimir Drenfield immigrated to the United States in 1999 for a better life for his family. We lived in the city of Kharkov in northeastern Ukraine and economic situation there was bad. My wife and I were thinking about our son's future and we decided that it would be better for him to live in the United States than in Ukraine. He had job offers from several U.S. universities, but ultimately he joined the Department of Mathematics at the University of Chicago because his mother was also offered a lecturer position. She was a specialist in Latin. His father was a professor of mathematics. From a young age, Vladimir's father groomed him to be a mathematician. He likes the fact that something proved in math will last forever. That in mathematics, something can be completely understood. In real life, there is nothing that we can understand completely. He received a bachelor's and doctorate degrees in mathematics from Moscow University. And he was advised by Yuri Manin, who made a lasting impact on Vladimir's career. Vladimir specializes in the Langlands program, which is a set of conjectures about the relation between number theory and automorphic form. When Vladimir was 21 years old, he invented what's called a Stuka to solve a Langlands conjecture. In 1975, I was trying to prove the Langlands conjecture for GL2 over K, where K is a global function field. In order to do this, I introduced Stukas, certain mathematical objects called Stuka. And I used the modulus stack of Stukas to prove the Langlands conjecture for GL2. A Stuka is a, the pair LC, and more general Stukas are used by Laurent Lafourg and by his brother Vincent Lafourg uh, in the proof of the Langlands conjecture for general reductive groups. 
Vladimir also made significant contributions to quantum groups and representation theory. It turns out cat. These mathematicians admire Vladimir. His uh, influence in mathematics is enormous. I mean, he is a creator of new theories. Well, as a mathematician, he was always above us, ahead of us, actually of everyone around with few, with few exceptions. After spending the day at the university, Vladimir goes home to his wife, Tanya, who also has a PhD in mathematics. They were introduced by mutual friends on a kayaking trip. And we talked a lot, and we, I understood that we had a lot in common. He was good looking. It was love at first sight, and Vladimir proposed 20 days after their first meeting. They've been married for nearly 40 years. Hi, Hello. Hi. How are you? Their son is studying for a PhD in linguistics, and their daughter-in-law is from Shandong province and teaches Chinese. Xiao Jin says her father-in-law seemed intimidating at first. Just the past of several years, and I began to really see the more um, warm and kind and also more human-like side of this great mathematician. Andre says mathematics is never far from his father's mind. From the time I was little until now, I have all these memories of, you know, like we are going out for a walk or whatever, and he's just randomly muttering some formula or some mathematical term. Vladimir plans to continue working on great math for as long as possible.